I'm Phoenix Wright, and I'm going to go back to school and learn oceanography. I'm going to go back to school mentally and learn evidence law right now. Go back to law school. Do not pass go. Okay. No evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. Well, we've already failed. Let's just move on. Unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case on trial. That directly conflicts rule one. I cannot rotate the book. Damn. Let's try, try this again. But shall I wanted we? to see that like duck on the front. You can look at it from the preview. But that's not big enough. Cute. Look at it. It's like Sherlock Holmes. Oh. Aw. Okay. Anyway, back to crime. Mr. Gant has first hand knowledge of the crime. I feel we should hear what he has to say about it. Hmm. As luck would have it, he should still be in the courthouse. He would also be the least likely to have been manipulated by me in any way. Wouldn't you agree, Your Honor? True. All right. Bailiff, please escort Mr. Gant to the stand. Yes. There it is. Witness, please state your name and occupation. What is this? Some kind of practical joke? I was just on my way to lunch. Your name and occupation, sir. Worthy, are you sure you want to do this? Your name and occupation. I am once again asking. <laughs> so, you want to play hardball, eh? Please, Mr. Gant. Your name and occupation! Fine. <laughs> My name is... Who's clapping? <laughs> it's me cracking my knuckles again. I, <laughs> I thought you were doing the clapping fully. So your no. name is Who's Clapping? <laughs> Worthy? I'm going to press charges of perjury because that's a lie. I'm the active chief of police. Now then, Chief Clapping. The court requests to hear your testimony. <laughs> Cheeks. 1 clapping. 800. <laughs> no. 1 800, are you clapping? I'm trying to commit a crime. <laughs> but I'm dummy thick, and the clap of my hands keeps alerting the court. Oh, righto. What's with the grim face? First, let's clear up this SL9 incident. Oh, you mean that time when Lana's sister murdered that prosecutor? This is very nonchalant. Like, that yeah, one that time. Personally, I think it's been made pretty clear already. Mm-mm. There are still some things unaccounted for. Oh? Like what? You're approaching me? I can't convict you without approaching you. Without getting closer. Like the role you've played in all of this. Son, either you're very brave or very foolish. I am both and you're not my father. As far as we know. <gasps> you are aware, of course, that <laughs> all kinds of weapons at his disposal. What yeah. the fuck? Like this knife! Uh. <laughs> Weapons? Sure. Take my testimony, for example. I would I like, like to. to. <laughs> <laughs> Same joke! Same joke! I don't- I don't have to give it if I don't want to. What? Is that true? <laughs> I'm afraid so. The chief of police has the right to refuse to testify. Only the chief of police. Yikes. Of 
course, such an action carries with it certain risks. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not here to hinder your trial. Just remember. If this turns out to be a big waste of time, don't say I didn't warn you. Very well. The witness may now begin his testimony. I miss his music. Me too. Just isn't the same. No. Recall, Neil and I were questioning him that day. To make a long story short, we slipped up. That power outage didn't help either. When I went to my office, I found Lena there. Apparently she had already arranged the crime scene. <laughs> As you can see, I had nothing to do with the forgery. So you say. Hmm. Is that when Dark was arrested? Then? He was lying on the floor unconscious. When Emma sent Neil flying, it seems Dark bumped his head. I see. Everything seems pretty clear cut. If the police chief has the right to refuse to testify, then I'd better hit him hard and fast. <laughs> if you know what- With my hand. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. Let's go with with my hand instead. I resisted making. I'm sorry. Listen. Earlier. It's right there. Hold it. As I recall, a ceremony was held at the police department that day. Yes, that's right. I guess you could say I'm a workaholic. After winning his award, Neil was all fired up, too. That's probably what spooked Dark and made him run away like that. Was the defendant, Lana Skye, also present in the room? I don't quite remember. At the very least, she wasn't there when Dark ran for it. Hold it! So the two of you ran immediately after him, right? That's right. But Dark made it to the elevator first. So Neil and I split up. He went upstairs and I went downstairs. I guess you could say, he got lucky! <laughs> Okay. What's this about a power outage? Oh, that. The elevator stopped all of a sudden, and I got the shock of my life. Flashbacks. Well, probably not as shocked. Jesus Christ! Shocked as Neil was when that knife went into his heart, though. <laughs> Jokes. That's not Jesus. funny. <laughs> Hold it! Could you tell us what you saw? It was a shock in sight. Neil and that serial killer were lying in a heap on the floor, all tangled together. Dark was also lying collapsed on the floor? <laughs> yes, apparently he hit his head and was knocked out. <laughs> Next to them were those two poor girls. Lana and Emma. Lana was cradling Emma in her arms. Looking back at it now, she must have already known what her sister had done. Hmm. Hold it! How can you know that? Because of the victim's body. It had already been moved. So that means... You found the body near Lana's desk? That's right. 
I think you said earlier it was my suit of armor that really stabbed the prosecutor? Mm-hmm. Yes. Anyway. Hold it! So you're saying that the forgery had already taken place by the time you arrived at your office? That's exactly what I'm saying. I can understand how Lana must have felt. But moving a body and hiding evidence are inexcusable, no matter what the circumstances. Hmm. Is that how it really went down? Staring at the witness won't do you any good, Mr. Wright. Hmm. If you're going to stare at anything, stare at stare me. Stare at me. <laughs> You'd be better off staring at the court record. Oh my god. So rude. <laughs> Brutal. Worthy. Always the smooth talk. <laughs> Real fucking hand slapper, that one. But which piece of evidence ties Gant to the forgery? And why did he just call clapping a hand slap? Lana I can make your hand slap. <laughs> <laughs> that you're missing a beat there. No, I that I clapped four times. Wait. No, I clapped five times. It might have no, gotten you it. Didn't. I didn't hear all of them. Because it's the Yeah, well the last one. What? No! I refuse to believe that there are six claps no matter there's what they claps. say. There are six. There's well, six. It's like, I can make your hands clap. No! There's another one after. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> Let me submit the evidence, Your Honor. <laughs> I re that evidence won't stop me because I can't hear. <laughs> Lana did admit to forging evidence. But that can't be the whole truth. Somehow I've got to link Gant to the incident. So Hold he's it. saying he... Oh, there's more. Oh, yeah, sorry. Wait, no, shit, this is the beginning of the testimony. I just pressed it again. You're right. I was gonna okay. say, I thought we were done. Oh, I got distracted by the hand slapping. <laughs> Go on, what were you gonna say? He said he didn't have anything to do with hiding the evidence, but we found some of it in his safe. Yeah, and he also said, like, hiding evidence is inexcusable, but he had evidence hidden. Yeah, see, he had nothing to do with it, but we literally found the base in his safe. Like, Lana couldn't have put it in his safe. Objection! Objection. You claim you had nothing to do with the forgery. Mm-mm. But I'm afraid that is a claim you cannot back up. I broke into your office. Explain yourself. I broke I. into your office. <laughs> Several pieces of evidence were found in your office. Passive voice. Take this jar, for example. That's the blue badger you showed us earlier. A piece of this jar was discovered in your safe. Simple passive voice. Yeah. Not only that, but the evidence list I presented earlier was actually found inside your desk. Triple passive More. voice. It was found where? You see, Chief Gant, these articles of evidence uncovered in your office are both concrete proof that you also played a part in the illegal investigation. Oh shit, god, I forgot how beefy he is. Chief Gant, what is the meaning of this? Ho! Oh. Who are you calling a hoe? Here's a defense attorney who may even rival worthy. So you admit to it then, that you were involved in the forgery? Who, me? Yes, you. You. Re Uno reverse. <laughs> Me? Why would I have anything to do with that? Well. 
You were the one who snuck into my office when you found this evidence. That was not Phoenix's voice. Hmm. I mean, I guess that was just Gant's impression. Prosecutors aren't the only ones capable of forging evidence, you know. Yikes. Uh-oh. Defense attorneys can do so, too. I mean, Is I get... Right. Righto. Objection! Objection! However, Detective Gumshoe was present during the investigation. Worthy, my boy? Uh, oh my god. Objectives are exempt from the law. Ooh. Rest assured, Dick will receive his due punishment. I'll have to listen to the organ playing. <laughs> what? If Detective Gumshoe's salary drops any further, he'll end up paying to work. Oof. Yes, well, in light of the detective's presence, please give us your testimony regarding these pieces of evidence found in your office and their relation to the forgery that took place at the crime scene. This sentence was so long, it took three speech bubbles. <laughs> my, ma. Kids these days no longer know how to put two and two together. Objection! It's four! We're all very proud of you, Phoenix. <laughs> Thank you! I learned how to do math when we were doing that Steel Samurai case. <laughs> Let's see. What was it now? A jar fragment and a list? <laughs> For all I know, you could have planted them in my office. Anyway, you can't prove when those pieces of evidence were discovered. If they were found after Dark was convicted, then they're worthless. There's no reason I'd participate in the forgery. Rearranging the crime scene wouldn't help me out in any way. You said a lot of shit there, sir. Hmm, Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? When investigating the crime scene, you should have been more careful to observe protocol. <laughs> For example, not observing the crime scene. Hello? You're telling me this now? <laughs> that I am the chief of police, right? There will be consequences. He's... Sorry, I just enjoy doing Gant's voice. No, it's really good. And he is slowly becoming unhinged. Ooh. Indeed. I believe I will press charges. So you won't make the same mistake again. My apologies, Chief, but would you mind waiting until tomorrow for that? <laughs> God. Today is... Well, you know. Oh, my you... birthday. Oh. All right, Udgy. In return, though. I know, I know. That place, right? Huh? What the fuck are we observing right now? <laughs> They're probably huh? just gonna go swimming together, but like... <laughs> what are these guys? Yeah. Telepathic? Lovers? Or maybe the judge is gonna take his testimony. <laughs> Stop. Why you say it like this? <laughs> I resisted making this joke once. Oh my god. Hold it! <laughs> Stop. I'd appreciate it if you'd stop making these ridiculous allegations. And also, <laughs> innuendos. Yes, you do have a point. <laughs> you wouldn't have the guts to do something like that. What? Ooh. I'll have you know, back in the day, I once broke into a cattle ranch and tipped... What? Mr. Wright, what are you... Saying. Phoenix Wright lore has gone and tipped cows. <laughs> anyway, you can't prove you didn't carry the evidence, can you? If you have proof to the contrary, 
You're gonna need it later. Later? What are you talking about? And what have you been talking about for the last <laughs> 20 minutes? I'm talking about when Raito's prints are found. Yes. If they're found inside my safe, <laughs> they would prove his investigation was illegal. Urgh. I've never faced anyone as slimy as this guy. It's just too slick. <sighs> Hold it! What do you mean by that? This is all purely hypothetical, of course. But suppose I did place those items in my safe. Such an act wouldn't necessarily constitute forgery. Objection! If concealing evidence found at a crime scene isn't forgery, well, it's fucking not. What? That's just not what it means. It's just withholding evidence. I'm not through speaking yet, Righto. It all depends on when the evidence was discovered. Hold it! Are you saying this jar fragment wasn't discovered in the initial investigation? It would appear not. After all, it wasn't listed in the evidence list. There's no other reason why that might be true. <laughs> For all we knew, it could have suddenly materialized the day after Dark was sentenced. Objection! Yeah, that's how the world works. Oh, and wouldn't that be convenient? Right. Hmm. The Chief is talking about a possibility. So long as you can't rule that out, your remarks, however clever they may be, will only succeed in wasting time. Tell me something I don't know. Wait, he thinks I'm clever? Selena Gomez. What? The, the Selena Gomez song. You think tell me, tell me, tell me that I don't know, know Selena Gomez? Know. I got it. I don't. Hold it! How can you look me in the eye and say that? Because I'm innocent. Hmm. Remember? Who was it that murdered Neil? I'm not sure I care for the word murder here. In I my mean, courtroom, in this murder trial. I mean, that would have been yeah, I, accidental. Yeah, Yeah. no, I know. <laughs> and slaughter, but not murder. Just funny. But in the end, the person responsible for Mr. Marshall's unfortunate demise was Emma Skye. Well, now do you see? See what? I don't have dark vision. <laughs> Unlike some people.